For those of you who don't know, these are my cats. Boots on top, Benny on the bottom one. So today we have the wet food challenge. This is what happens every single time I try to give them wet food. Bunny takes over Boots' food bowl every single time. No matter how much wet food I give him, he can never have enough. No, not finished. Come on, this side, Boots. I know you want it. I know. So I generally give a little bit more to Bunny and a little bit less to Boots because until Bunny came along, Boots didn't care at all about wet food. He would just lick the, the water off it and leave the meat. So stop buying it. It was useless. But Bunny is obsessed, really obsessed with wet food. Look, he didn't even finish his own bowl, but he's waiting for Boots' bowl. However, keeping Bunny from eating Boots' food before he's done is quite a challenge. Bunny! Boots is a very slow eater, so whatever the quantity he has, he'll take a zillion years more uh, to eat it than Bunny. Bunny finishes whatever I give him in like two seconds. I think he swallows it. It's the only reason I don't want to give too much. Well, Boots will never finish it. Bunny will just throw it up later. It's not good the speed that he's eating it. You have to threaten Bunny with spraying him with water, yeah, which much. is like his absolute worst nightmare. It's the only thing keeping him from taking over Boots' bowl. Because the yelling sometimes doesn't even phase him. And Boots is a really nice kitty. He's a, he's a passive, non-confrontational, uh, anti-fighting <laughs> kitty. I mean, I've seen them, uh, there's been incidents where Bunny attacked him. And, like, you, ben, Boots just runs away until he's really cornered and then he'll growl and fight back. And it's really not something he enjoys. He's more of a cuddle ball. So till the next can of tuna, Bunny can eat whatever boots left in his bowl. And here you have it. That's the story.